interview based on the evidence. This is, let's say it, let's say it legalistically, like the probably the legalists can understand it. That they are liars based on the evidence. Because it, the major point, if you will go and return to the evidence, their major point, or the major point, the main point of what they are attempting to make believe. That's what they're trying to do. They, they're trying to make believe that His Majesty said He's not divine. They're trying to make believe, make you be naive, make you believe. And that's what he said. But if you look or uh, listen and read, if you get a good transcript, or just listen and look at a good transcript of the interview and the particular portion that they're talking about, nowhere in that did he even hint at that. Because if he were to deny, as a Christian, just on a basic level of, of understanding this, as an Ethiopian Christian, Tawahedo Christian, see, in Tawahedo Christianity, we understand that God and man was one. That man through his hatiyat or his sinfulness, his rebellion, broke away from God and fell to animalistic and beastial on a low level of, of life. That man was rescued through the coming of Gietach and Jesus Christos, through the coming of Jesus Christ. He was, he was able to be brought back into the family of God. You understand? Because we read in the Bible that Adam was also a son of God. And on that whole ye are God's point Christ didn't deny that that's what was said and the scripture cannot be broken you understand so we are gods but not gods in the sense of the world or in the sense of ancient ancient non-Hebrew non-Israelite religions and things that we find in history that led to idolatry not in that sense but in the sense of our true Creation of how we were created in the image and after likeness of God. But there was a breach. There was a breach. You understand? And that breach between God and man now was restored to us through that mediator. But first we had to we have to accept Gaitachi Jesus Christos. We have to accept his word. You understand? We have to be born again, be born again from above of the Spirit and be guided by the Spirit and the Word and the law is our pedagogue or our tutor, our mogzit or our nanny. It's like the law, the Bible is our nanny that helps to grow us up so we come into a maturity and we be children in wrath but not children in knowledge. So Christ restored to humanity and through the, to the humanity that has accepted him and have been born again you understand, to the glory of the Father in and through Him and receive the Holy Spirit, that they now become the children of God. You see? So, they become the children of God. They, their inheritance is of God. So that's what says, all things are for us and of us in and through our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christus. You see? So the whole point of Christ, the, the message of salvation was to restore man and humanity in particular, the Beta Israel, in particular God's son, which is Israel, Israel's God's son, according to the Bible. People say, no, Jesus Christ is the only son of God. No, he is the only begotten. If you understand what begotten means in connection with Kirsten Grimarium, in that sense that he sent his word into a flesh and blood mother. And in a miraculous way, a child was born through that word of God and that overshadowing of the Memphis Caduce. But that's also another point that people want to argue. Say, well, how can that really happen? Because the only way somebody is born is through such and such and such. You know, we can deal with that, but that's a whole other point aside. The main point that we're trying to make right here is the idea of divinity and humanity being restored in and through Jesus Christos Getachina Med Chanetachin. See, that is the Tawahid or the Rit Itaimino or the true teaching of the Ethiopic Church that has been called since the 4th century. Um, Egyptian domination has been called the Orthodox Church. But in truth, the doctrine and teaching is Tawahido and the name of our so-called Orthodoxy, which is a Greek word. But the true name of the correct faith for us is the Rit Itaimino. And that is Tawahido teaching, which means to be united, to be digested, to be united in the sense of being one. In fact, in the Bible, 
there's a well, there's a, there's a verse that uses that that root word in that same sense of unity becoming one again. So for his imperial majesty to deny his divinity would be to deny his particular form of Christianity. And this is what a lot of so-called modern church folk, a lot of the careless Ethiopians and others, I don't care if they, they could be priestesses or whatever like that. You know, when I say priests, you know, they could be priests or whatever like that. But obviously they are not based on the true foundation of the Ethiopic church. Because the Tawahedo teaching is that it is through Jesus Christos that we are restored again into our true created nature as children of God. You understand? Where we, like Christ, but after Christ, not above Christ, but like little Christ, you understand, have a share, you understand, in a restored humanity as well as in that divinity. How do you think the first century Christians were able to do those miracles of God that they did? You understand, those wonders, those signs and miracles, and even raise dead, just like Christ was, raised, was able to raise the dead, and even himself was raised from the dead. And why do you think in modern Christianity most of these folks can't do those things? Because they are not dealing with the true Christianity of Christ, but they are dealing with another Christianity, what the Bible warns us about. Another Jesus, another spirit, in other words, a counterfeit Christianity, and they have absolutely no right, you understand, to enter into a conversation or a teaching or try to reprove, you understand, Rastafari or Rastafarians, you understand, about their faith when the faith that these pseudo Christians expound, if we look at their works. You see, not just individually, but we're looking at Christianity, this modern Christianity thing going on. Look at, you want, you want to see the works of modern Christianity? Look at the world. No, no, I'm just look at the world. The majority, if not the majority, but the majority, at least the white Western world and, and those Negroes and other mixed mongrel folks over here, most of them will claim to be Christians. Most of the white Western Anglo-American world will claim to be Christians. But let's look at their works. You judge the tree according to Christ by their works. Not because they say, I'm a Christian. Therefore you say, oh, that's a good person. They're a Christian. I believe in Jesus. Jesus is God, is Lord. So forth and so on. Oh, that, that must be a good person. Ignorantly, you could think so. But when you really know what Christ teaches, then you really know who you're dealing with. You know, these folks are anti-Christ that you're dealing with. And this is one of the reasons why they, they, they leave what they should be about and try to now enter into this discussion among Rastafarians, among Rastafari and Ethiopian people concerning the divinity of His Imperial Majesty. You see, because they're in a counterfeit form of Christianity, they don't understand that through the true Christ, their divinity is restored too. Not that they're worshipped by somebody. See, that's a whole other kind of, that's that worldly stuff. You understand? But, but the divinity of being children of God. So you cannot be a child of God and not have any divinity. You see what I'm saying? You can't be a child of God, say I'm a child of God, but I'm not divine. What? Well, what are you talking about? That makes no theological or scriptural sense. But see, that's exactly how it is in the West, where people are lost in translation. You know, and in and, uh, and a mis misinterpretation, and here clearly even the translator's words of the imperial majesty, but will insert in that, see, he said he's not divine. You see, he said he's not Christ. And we played the speech over and over, looked at all the transcriptions of the speech, and we tried to find somewhere where his imperial majesty said in that, that I'm not divine. They said, because look, he said he's mortal, and he is... He is, he is mortal and he is man. And like, that's a bad thing. Who are these devils? You have to ask yourself, who are these devils? They're liars. It's very clear. I didn't want to say that about this, this dude. I, I would have maybe called him a brother before, but I didn't want to say this about this dude. But he's a liar. Whether he knows he's lying, whether he's lying willingly, or whether somebody off camera is making him lie, or he's just doing that to get more hits on his video, I can't really tell you. But he's clearly a liar. Because he played the interview, 
after the interview, he comes in and say, as you just heard, his majesty said, I'm not divine. And you could play back the, you know, when you listen to this video, play back the, 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 the interview and listen to it, find out where did he say that. And see, they're playing a game with you. They're playing a game on people because most people don't understand these vital theological issues. These are, these are theological issues that, that overturn Judaism. These are theological issues that early Christians even came to blows over, you understand, came to physical violence over, because when you're trying to rob somebody of their humanity and divinity, you know, it's like, it's like trying to steal someone's soul.